when you signed to Epic, it was like a huge deal. You get like a, a gigantic amount of money allegedly out of this. Yeah, she Epic. Epic, that one. Right. Oh, Epic. Yeah. Was that the moment that your life really changed? Because all of a sudden you just had way more money than you ever thought you would have? Nah, I already, I already. Epic came along. We were getting 50 or so already. Yeah, really? I was, we was already doing that gone, independent, like, not knowing yeah. what we're doing. Me and him, and I'm just freestyling. Like, I think we oh, can get yeah, 40. Oh, yeah, I got like 40, 50 a show already. So, like, I was already getting money. So, it's just like, goddamn, yeah, like. Yeah. So, then why sign? Because, you know, a lot of people, they be like, if you're making all that money, why did you want to choose a, a major label? Well, I can say, like, one thing with me, like, shit, with both parties from FBG and Epic, I got them tied into with some real genuine people. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, on my end, shit, I really got the sh got shit in control, you feel me? So it's like, I ain't got them sign my life away on some, I'm just putting these people got them in Leverage. my pocket, I putting these people in my life and I don't know what's going on myself. Like, I got people got them, we gonna lay this shit on the table. This is what I wanna do, got them. And I just got people that just help build around my dream, you feel me, just to make everything work, you know what I'm saying? So like, I just, you know, I met on both ends, like she was just all 100% genuine. So with the, uh, so like uh, Kodak Black artist to do NFL two up, yeah. So he's the one who brought all this to like like all the the paperwork. Yeah, yeah. Where, where what's our relationship? Yeah, man, um, I ain't I, I wouldn't even really got them say no relation. I'm just saying like shit, it's a nigga like who watched me grow up. Nigga watched me getting money. You know what I'm saying? Nigga seen me like doing my thing as a. Young nigga just growing up, you know what I'm saying? But he like from where you from? Nah, nah, I ain't. I'm from the south side, bro. From the, uh, from the west side. But I used to be in them. I used to stay in them boys' hood, you feel me? Like, that's why I sh in they hood, that's why I shot goddamn public housing at, I mean, um, Boys Out with Future. And, and the first one, you know what I'm saying? They're the first two boys out The first the two boys out. So did you ever have problems with him, or was his motivation just cloud chasing by coming out with that? Nah, I ain't never had no problems with him. Yeah, no, nah, never. He just got killed, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've yeah. seen that on social media. I didn't really look into it, but that's crazy. But like, even though, like, I seen he said that somebody from your hood gave him the paperwork. You know anything about that? Allegedly. Allegedly, somebody yeah, allegedly. from your hood. I don't, I don't yeah. know. No, I ain't heard about that though. I just, I think I seen that in the interview. So like, where did uh? So he posted the paperwork, and then you told 1090 Jake. To look into it, how did 1090 Jake even get involved? Because I seen 1090 Jake said you told him to look into your shit. Yeah, goddamn, I really wasn't goddamn talking to him on no goddamn. You feel me? You know, I just got nigga like me, and my advocates, like my brother, and I'm like these niggas that really talk for me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. well, yeah. What are you even saying? even that, like I tell you, everybody said that paperwork shit, but nobody read the paperwork. Mm. That's that's the that's the main thing of it. Like nobody reads it; they just read the titles and the headline. Cause nothing in the pa the paper. There's nothing there of making you anything. Yeah. Just keeping it real. If you got the paper, you can read it. And you'll see it. Like there's nothing there. But like you know, ten out of Jake from Boston. Mm -hmm. Boston can't tell me no about no murder in Tallahassee. You don't even know the story. You don't even know what's going on. That like me telling you about a murder in California. I'm not from here. I read, you can put bullshit up on your blog. I can go with that. I don't know. If you say that happened, that's all I know that happened. But like, I always in depth story. You'll never know. Unless you, you gotta be from Ryan there where you get the details and you'll know what's really going on. Do, do you respect, like, what 1090 Jake does in general, though, like, in terms of just exposing snitches and shit? You know, I don't, I don't disrespect it, but, like, if you're going to do it, if you're going, if you're going to do it, you know, do it, do it wholeheartedly, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. don't be DMing niggas, like, it ain't nothing there, bro, this and that, then, Turn when you don't get it, a nigga ain't, like, I ain't fucking with you because nigga don't fuck with you, you get weird, you feel me? Like... The beginning of the narrative was never you told until like you didn't get the response that you wanted. So that's the whole thing. And then just call it foul. Like if a nigga told, a nigga told. 
But like, don't clip it and paint a narrative of a nigga that you don't even, you don't even know because a nigga ain't fucking with you. If we wanted to be his friend, it would be a different narrative. Hmm. But a nigga don't want to be nobody's friend. We do us. So we get our money and go home. So you think it was on some like cloud chasing shit? You trying to say like it's a, he was up here with a it was on on shirt with bro. It's uh, clearly cloud chasing. The only time he get fucking traction. That's right. keeping it real. Like if you don't put LeBron name in the mic, get no traction from no situation he do. But like you know, a nigga ain't tripping. We still get money. A lot of yeah. So like when that shit first started coming out. Did you you kind of try to like just avoid it and just ignore it, or like when did you start to realize like oh shit this is actually something I gotta address? It's goddamn see like it'd be different like cause like I got real people that's in my life so like I ain't never out here gonna do no just like even if I'm going through something I got some I ain't just no never get on my phone and just go go on a rent. If I got real people like real OG like niggas in my ear like okay we are gonna do this into this situation do that like you know what I'm saying so like. It just, it, I think you had like it's just that when, shit. You can't beat that internet shit. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. You can't beat narrative in the post. Like you gotta think. We ain't know y'all. You gotta think. We sitting back like fuck Adam. <laughs> that's how we looking at it, like damn. That's low key. Wow. How, what I that's do? low key. How, how they post it. like goddamn. It, they posted. I ain't shit never seen you way. post me until it's like goddamn with some crazy shit, and then it's like goddamn, like. I'm a different type of person, so it's just like, I just feel like y'all was just tugging at me, like, on every corner, like everything tugging, you tugging. Were, everything, it's like, this was, this, this platform was the, where he ran this machine through that helped spread it, because everything he said, it went without. Remo's a 1090 jig agent. It went without, <laughs> like, we never responded, we never said none of nothing. It went without even outside of the story. Oh, no, so see, I what made you, it look so true. I hit you up in May May of 2022. You actually did respond, and then, oh, and then I hit you two other times, and I was trying to schedule the interview, and you didn't respond. So I, I, I was trying to reach out, but that's what's crazy is that I was, like, privately a fan, but then meanwhile, the No Jumper social media is posting about, you know, yeah, yeah, they didn't yeah, really yeah, catch yeah, on yeah, to talking me. about you until, you know. yeah. Should start getting dicey. Yeah. 